Good morning. Welcome to Rendezvous with Alicia, only on Madhouse TV. Today, I have to say, it's going to be another one of my great shows. We have Evan Ginsberg, the associate producer from the movie The Wrestler, which included actor Mickey Rourke. We have Edwin Vasquez with his entire band, who's going to do a beautiful acoustic set for us for more than half the show. You're just going to love his music. But before I go on, I wanted to introduce to you my co-host for the show today, who's also my co-host to my new radio show, The Rendezvous Radio Show with Chris and Alicia. So, round of applause Hello. for DJ Midlife. Hello. Woo! Thank you, thank you. How thank are you? you? First of all, I want to I wanna thank you for, like, again, I, again, I, 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 thank, I think I thank you enough on the radio show, but just uh, so the Madhouse TV people could hear me um, that are watching, Alicia is a sweetheart, you know, Originally, I was supposed to only like play music on her show, but uh, she invited me to co-host, and I have no training in this, you know what I mean? But I guess uh, I'm a big ham, I guess. I don't know. You're a big so, ham. So she invited me. But last night was our, our premiere uh, show, and uh, the first 10 minutes were hilarious. If there were cameras in a room, I mean, forget about it. You, you would laugh hysterically. But uh, to this morning, she was calling me in the morning, and, and we were just laughing on the phone. We were like, that was hilarious. She goes, I was, listening to the, I was listening to the whole show this morning. It was so funny the first 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But after that, we kind of got it together, and the show was great. Yeah. It was one of those moments where everything that could go wrong went wrong. Chris and I planned for about a month. We had our clock. We had our timetable. We had all our guests. Um, last minute, one of the guests never called. Meanwhile, yeah. we were on the phone with him that morning, and he was like, I'm calling. He never called. Never called. Um, our equipment didn't work. We had technical issues. We had done three test runs at the studio. And then last minute, the, the, our equipment didn't work. And it was just absolutely hysterical. And we were going to edit. We were going to edit it and take it out. But then, you know, we both agreed. Like, that's our first show. That's a memory. And it's who we right? are, basically. It's who we are, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it was a microcosm of, of who we are yeah. and, and our personalities and stuff. So I, I left it as is, and I just posted it on Facebook as is, as a comedy. Which yeah. Which it was at first. Minute. So if you watch our The Rendezvous radio show with Chris and Alicia, if you will, if you listen, the first 12 minutes are complete bloopers, but after that it was a, a pretty great night with boxer Chris Algieri, um, actor, producer David Seth Cohen, and then we had um, John Thomason. We got to thank them. They Antonio called, they called Longo. In when, thank uh, you. Yeah, they thank called you. in when, when our, our last guest uh, uh, flicked out on us. Yeah. They called in and they made the show. Yeah, yeah thank and, you, John uh, Thomason and Antonio Longo, for really, for, you know, for saving yes. us last night. Yes. Our first show, you guys had my back, and I owe you guys big time. Yes. But um, otherwise, Chris, thanks for and, being on this show today. Enough about us. Let's talk about it. DR let's so let's talk about okay. So Evan, we'll talk a little bit about about Evan. You are you were the associate producer for the movie The Wrestler at Mickey Rock. How how did you get involved with uh, movie production? Well, I was an agent in the pro wrestling world, and I know you're having Greg Valentine on in two weeks, yes. who's a dear friend of mine, and yep. Bobby Rydell, who's yep. a wrestling manager and agent. These are buddies of mine. But I came out of the wrestling world, and I was at a uh, autograph signing with Luscious Johnny Valiant, one half of the fabulous Valiant brothers, and yep. Nikolai Volkov, uh -huh. and I was acting as their agent. And um, the best friend of the producer of the wrestler. Scott Franklin approached me, and next thing I know, I'm having a meeting with uh, Darren Aronofsky, who's a world-class uh, director, of course, and uh, we just all clicked, and next thing I knew, I was offered the job, which basically involved me bringing in 150 or so wrestlers for casting calls. I brought in Necro Butcher, who fought Mickey in that pivotal scene, the bloody, hardcore scene, and uh, I brought in Mickey's trainer, his stunt double, I brought in the ring, I connected them with all the uh, indie promoters, we filmed with Ring of Honor, uh, the climactic scene in the film. Basically, I was the wrestling guy. Right. That was awesome. That's awesome. Now, before movie, you were telling us before that you had about 23 years in radio? Oh, absolutely, and I still do. I was with uh, WBAI-FM Pacifica 99.5. So it's funny when you talk about tech issues, over, t over 16 years at BAI, um, we would have blackouts, we'd be sitting in the pitch black, we'd, we'd have dead air, right. and three, four, five minutes of dead air feels like an eternity mm -hmm. on radio, you know. Right. But uh, my uh, late grade, um, he, he was the host of the show, I was the co-host, Fred Giobold, he was very calm, and he would go, we have dead air. You know, <laughs> but you know, you're on the radio and like there's nothing happening, and it's like tick, 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 tick. So, you know, I understand tech issues and 
we, yeah. we, we've survived them all, so don't worry. That was like last night when we were having, you know, you know, technical problems. Chris was getting all up, go all upset, and I'm just sitting there like he's like. I'm like this. I'm running back nails. and forth, and I'm going. I'm doing the re actually. I'm doing a wrestling move. I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> He was yeah. so mad. And, and she's I'm, like this, and I go, I go, you have anything in here? She's like, yeah. she's looking at her nails, and I'm like, help me out here. You'll you always get through it. Um, right now I'm on legendsradio.net, which is heard worldwide, 20 different countries. And, uh, nice. We have A-list comedians, actors, musicians, uh, athletes. Um, we, we just had Andrew Dice Clay on the other week. Really? How is he doing? Uh, I haven't good, heard good. his name he's, in a while. He's making a big quote-unquote comeback. He's playing you know, large venues. and. Uh, Good. He was very gracious. How'd you get involved with the legends? Just that you, um, you just evolved into just that? Or? After being on radio so long, you just started asking people, and you know, most of them more than willing. It you know, it builds um, when you have big names. It feeds off of itself. Other of big course. names. Hey, he did the show, so I might as well do the show. Sure. So kind of works out. Now, how did you get involved with Edwin Vasquez? Well, we are doing a uh, movie that I'm directing and producing called "The Stage Is an Altar," and Edwin is really the featured musician in the film mm -hmm. and uh, Edwin's a brilliant musician he was in the uh, Cape Man he did the Cape Man with Paul Simon and he has a long list of credits that I'm sure he'll tell you about but um, you know just a tremendous tremendous artist and human being and uh, you know really the focal point of the movie which is about the New York music scene the indie music scene there's so many great great musicians who are not getting the attention they deserve so we wanted to focus on that, and they all have great stories. And one story, which you'll appreciate, is we have a rapper named Cooley High, and uh, his house was literally burning to the ground. There were 15-foot-high flames. So uh, one of the scenes in the movie, he's talking about it, and they even show footage from the uh, news program. His house is burning. Cooley's running into the house, not to save his money, his jewelry, his documents, to save his music. Oh, to save wow. his music, That's yeah, passionate. risking his life. I it's mean, priceless. I mean, when yeah. you work that hard uh, on your music, uh, it becomes priceless. You know, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so we have great musicians with great stories, and also great perseverance. Because in the music industry today, I'll give you an example. I pitched a singer, songwriter, guitarist, uh, beautiful young singer, about 16 years old, and the record company said, "We're looking for somebody 14." Okay, 16 was too old already. Wow. They're looking for the next Justin Bieber right. to mold. Yes. So what if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and you still have dreams, you still have aspirations? That's what the movie's about. That's pretty much what our that, radio that show is about. Uh, that's how I got my yeah. name, basically, DJ Midlife, because I, I yeah. started, I always had a love for, uh, you know, I always had a passion for music, all types of music, and uh, five years ago, I got into, like, the DJ thing, and... Uh, like guys at work, they were like, "Oh, you got you're having a midlife crisis," and that's how yeah. I, that's how I got my name, you know there what I mean? Go. But yet, even though I started late, um, I still have the passion, and, and of uh, course, and you know, it's never too late, you know what I mean? Of course. I mean, uh, why should dreams die because you're any age? It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I mean, we always talk about racism and sexism in uh, in music and the arts. What about ageism? You know, I, I would sit at BAI, fifty thousand watts. We'd have. Uh, a beautiful, handsome, young uh, performer in their late 20s, and they would be, don't mention my age, don't mention my age. Like, right. you know, you're like 27, 28. Like, you know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, what is the name, what, what again, is the name of this new film that you're doing? Uh, with Edwin, it's The Stage is an Altar, and I also completed a film called Teresa Sario Alive Again, which is another amazing story. She's standing at 34th and Park, a pedestrian, waiting for the light to change like we all do. And a uh, gentleman has one or two drinks at a, uh, at a party, not drunk, but makes an illegal U-turn and causes an accident that rips her leg off at the hip. Oh. Okay? So she wakes up out of a coma six days later, the family's surrounding her, and she's like, uh-oh, this isn't good. And it wasn't, obviously. So six months of rehab, six months to get a prosthetic, learn how to walk again, and then it's like, how do I rationalize beyond wrong place at the wrong time? You know, if you brushed your teeth or combed your hair two minutes longer, two minutes less, you're not standing there and you're not getting hit by that car. So how do I rationalize this? She says, I'm going to sing, talk to wounded warriors and trauma victims around the world. And we followed her literally around the country. And, uh, you know, we uh, interviewed various uh, wounded warriors and she's performing for them. Very powerful. Gary Sinise is in it. 
Lanny Poffo, the famous wrestler, Randy Savage's mm. brother, he does a poem for her in there. Uh, Sean Pelton from Saturday Night Live Band. You know, we have, we have various luminaries in there. Didn't and, Gary Sinise lose his legs also in that other movie? In um, Forrest Gump. In Forrest yeah, Gump, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. That's, that's pretty ironic that. Yeah, so he does a lot for the Wounded Warriors. That's yeah. how we connected with yeah, he's him. He's pretty tight. He has a band, doesn't he? Yeah, he has a band. He does a lot of charity work for the fire department, too. Like, yeah. he's always, uh, you know, playing. Yeah, he's uh, a good guy. Yeah, good guy. Yes. So, um, you know, we've taken it literally uh, around the world. We're going to be at Edge Hill University in England and uh, Manchester University in February. And we were just in Tampa. And basically, we're just putting it out there. It's uh, very inspirational. I mean, it sounds grim, but it's an inspirational film because sure. she's up on stage, professional singer with one leg. This is not exactly an advantage in the music industry, and she's still out there doing what she needs to do, and she's a great, great performer. And uh, no, do we, we, Did we download? Uh, yes, I believe you Vicky, have the Vicky, do we have that um, one-minute movie trailer? Okay, so we're going to play um, Evan's trailer for his new film, so enjoy. <laughs> It's unusual for somebody that has such a great voice, but then it's also such a great songwriter. She's got such charisma, such stage presence. Therese is amazing. She's always been great. Her songs are great. Her voice is amazing. None of that's changed. The life of singer-songwriter Teresa Serio changed when a horrible accident nearly silenced her voice. Despite the serious injuries she suffered, Serio has picked up the pieces of her shattered life and is once again giving the gift of music to her fans. Alive again, wishing again, amazing, get over yourself. <laughs> After months of rehabilitation, she has become a popular disabilities advocate and supporter of Wounded Warriors. I'm just trying to come off the bench and do a little bit like you are. She worked and still works in the Initiative for Women with Disabilities program, which is all about, I'm a person, I'm whole, I'm more than my disability. I don't want people to always focus on the leg. I want them to focus on the song, not be like thinking about, oh, she's an amputee. This is a quality singer with a local following. She should have already had hits with some of these songs. It's always been my dream to do a full-out concert of all of my music. The theme of her concert is bigger than what happened to her. It is about having a dream and reaching for it no matter what obstacles are put in your path. From the trauma of the accident on Parkin 34th to the epic voyage she has made since then, Teresa Serio is alive again. Wasn't that absolutely beautiful? Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to it. Evan actually gave us a copy of the documentary, so Chris and I will be watching that this weekend. Yeah, looking forward to it. Looks like a very Appreciate inspirational it. story. Yeah. And uh, I like stories like that, you know. It's a, it's a feel-good story, you know. And uh, yeah, That's exactly what we were shooting for. We didn't want to make it so grim that it would scare people off. Right. Um, she does a concert on the anniversary of her accident to reclaim that day, to make it something positive. Yeah. And it's a sold out show in uh, New World Stages, 50th and Broadway, beautiful venue, and it's packed. And you know, there she is on stage doing what she should be doing in spite of, you know, I mean, she lost a leg at the hip. It's not easy, believe me. Just, uh, just getting around is tough. But, uh, she doesn't go for wheelchairs or anything. She's very independent. She drives, and you could overcome anything. And she does motivational speaking, and what it shows is, you know, you might have money problems, you might have relationship problems, 
you didn't lose your leg. Yeah. You know, anytime somebody hears her, they're like, wow, my problems pale Things in could comparison. Be Things could be, worse. Things could be yeah. a lot worse. Yeah. Now, did she um, forgive the driver of the car? Uh, I think she had to just to move on with her life. I mean, she could tell you better than I could, but uh, um, he ended up in jail for uh, many years, many years. And there's no winners. There's no winners. None at all. So, um, now, you seem like you've had a large array of, of guests and people that you've met over the years. Do you have a moment, a monumental moment that you'll never forget? <laughs> Um, sitting in strip bars with Mickey Rourke three in the morning was interesting. Uh, that must have you know, been a lot of fun. Yeah. That must have was, been great. That was, that was pretty, uh, it was almost surreal. Was you know, you have a few drinks in you and it's 3 a.m. And, you know, but, uh, you know, um, I'll tell you a funny story very quickly. At, at one point, Darren Aronofsky said, we can't get the funding that we need for the movie because at the time, Mickey's name wasn't as big as it is since The Restless. So uh, he says, Evan, we're going to go meet Nicolas Cage. So uh, Nicolas Cage was tentatively going to take over the role because they wanted $18 million to shoot the movie and they just couldn't raise it. Right. So uh, Darren's like, we're going to meet Nicolas Cage down in this parking lot so there's no paparazzi, da, 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 da. He goes, Evan, you're the point man. And we, we have to get him into this wrestling show in, in Midtown Manhattan. So I have to arrange to uh, get him in the door, et cetera, so on, without any hullabaloo. So yeah. uh, I meet the guy, and for like 10 seconds, I'm like, wow, this guy's a big movie star. And then you realize, you know, he's just another person like anybody else, yeah. you know. How are you? Da, da, da. You shake hands. So we get him into the building. There's a line, like 2,000 people. We walk right in, down the elevator, past the line, backstage, within... 30 seconds, uh, Miss, Mr. Cage, would you like something to eat? Would you like something to drink? You realize big stars are treated very differently than us mere mortals. So, uh, but the guy was very gracious and just a good guy. But what was interesting was he, he's in good shape, surprisingly good shape when you see him. He looked young. He looked great. He didn't look the part. Mickey Rourke looked like he'd yes. been beaten down. Yeah. Mickey Rourke... So Darren, in spite of the fact that Nicolas Cage is bigger box office, he went with his heart and he went with Mickey, which was the right choice. Mm -hmm. But uh, that, we, that was we, my evening with Nicolas Cage. Do we have time oh, yeah. to talk about Marissa Tomei? Because she's also in this movie, no? Yeah, yeah. Marissa Tomei is also very gracious. Uh, and she's an actress. She's not a celebrity. She's not a performer. She's an actress. She does quality work. She picks and chooses her projects. None of us got rich from the film. She she did it because it was a quality role and yeah, her whole career has been like that you know she's not going to do schlock yeah you know and sometimes you uh see major major stars who do bad movie after bad movie after bad movie and they're kind of like um you know prostituting themselves yeah. in a sense because yeah. they're squandering their talents but marissa tomei you know nothing but respect because uh i love her she's you know, great man. you know she yeah. has a body of work that you could be proud of yes you know she's not blowing stuff up you know what i'm saying yeah well we're yeah. going to continue this conversation yeah. actually when we come back we're going to play edwin vasquez's uh new video uh Chris Baila Rina. she's Baila. having a tough time, uh, yeah. tough time pronouncing it but it's, Baila Baila Rina. Rina. it's, it's a great great video and then it. edwin and the band are going to perform live you are not going to want to miss it so stay tuned. Enjoy our commercial. Awesome. Hi, I'm Tom Mealy for 1-800-INJURY-LAW, the Harrison Law Group. And for years, you have heard me talk about soft tissue injuries whether it's been sustained in a car accident, a work-related accident, or a slip and fall. Let me get right to the point. When you have a soft tissue injury, this is no joke. A soft tissue injury can be worse and last longer than a fracture. Now, understand something. Even though this firm does not just simply work on soft tissue injuries, we work with people that have sustained very serious, serious injuries, including, unfortunately, missing body parts. But let's get something straight. When you're dealing with soft tissue injury, you better understand both the medical and the legal aspect of what you're doing. Because if you don't, you will never, ever get the compensation for that client that he or she truly deserves. Let's get something straight. This is not 
something that we just started doing. This is not something, we're, we're not new at this game. This is what we do every single day, seven days a week. If you've been involved in any kind of an accident, you give us a call. And one more thing, let me get something straight. I am Tom Mealy. I'm no spokesperson. Don't, by invitation. You need something, you call me 24-7. I'm here, 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hours. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail center. Hogs hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. Senior discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. Welcome back to Rendezvous with Alicia, only here on Madhouse TV. That was such a great interview with, with Evan Ginsberg. And um, right now we're going to play a short video clip of Edwin Vasquez. Chris, can you say the name of the song again? It's called Baila Rina. It's a beautiful video. I love it. I mean, uh, I fell in love with it from the first time I saw it. From the first time yeah. we met Edwin at a red carpet event. Brimstone did his launch and release party with Bumblefoot and all these great people. Uh, about two, two, three weeks ago, we were honored to have met Evan at the red carpet event. Edwin. 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 I got Evan and, Ed, and Edwin, Edwin. Sorry. Edwin. Edwin. Honored to have met him. He gave us some information. He sent us home with a CD. And as and Chris and I... And we popped it right in the car. We started listening to it. We were like... Yeah, right like away. <laughs> and we fell in love with this song. So it, it just so happens the song that we fell in love with has um, a new video out. So enjoy by yes. Lorena. Se me calienta la sangre 
Y se me secan los labios Se me anuncian los ojos de tanta emoción Estoy loco en pasión Baila, baila, baila Bailarina Ya me estoy perdiendo en fantasía llenos de fuego me miró su voz como una caricia suave como una brisa me agarró de la mano y me sacó a su baile de amor baila I'm dying to let you all listen to Edwin and the band sing live. So we're going to cut to a very short commercial break. And when we come back, you're going to be blown out of the water. Um, Edwin, actually, I want to promote on February February 13th, Edwin. Is that your opening day yes, at Voces? Is off-Broadway play Voces? Uh, at Tres Voces. At, at Tres Voces. Uh, Chris and I will be there Thursday, February 14th. But his opening night is February 13th in the city. We're going to get more into that. Enjoy the commercial. Cold Spice Body Spray will make you feel so powerful to blow your mind right in front of your face. Goodbye. Oh no! You my dear child, I don't. Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh! Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials. You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do. Power! Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. P -p 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 Power. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. What do you do? 
I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Somebody was barbecuing, barbecuing, barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord, Jesus, it's a fire. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I'm ran for my life. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, welcome back to the Rendezvous Show with Alicia. Uh, this next uh, guest, Edwin Vasquez, he's an amazing singer. And this next uh, song, it's called uh, the, the World Cries, and it's uh, dedicated to the Sandy victims. And uh, here he is. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.
much is the truth? How much is a lie? Should our dreams be sacrificed? We come and we go while truth unfolds. The world cries. We come and we go while the truth unfolds. The world cries. We come and we go while the truth unfolds. The world. That was beautiful. That was awesome, uh, Edwin. Good job. Loved it. So tell us, uh, tell us about this uh, particular song. Like, uh, why did you uh, write it? Oh well, basically, it's uh, written by uh, myself and James Grover, okay. composer, guitarist. And I want to say a few words about it because sure. it basically was mainly his idea as okay. far as dedicating it to the victims. Uh, yeah, we uh, well, we wrote the song quite some time ago, right. and uh, we decided to. Uh, you know, produce it. It's the right time. It right. just happened to be the right time. Okay. And we're, we're just trying to promote the song and dedicate it to the families <laughs> that never ever bring back their, their loved ones, right. but to give them something. Right. We don't know. And something to heal. Yeah. And something to heal. Some type of healing. Music, music some definitely type of, heals it. And if it gets produced to help out the families, would be amazing. So let me ask you a question. Have you been able to... Uh, can anybody buy this particular uh, song? Uh, we just uh, we just started to re uh, record it. We went to the studio. Okay. Uh, uh, also playing with Alpha and and you know the combining of it, which you heard now live, uh, was fantastic. And we're going. Yeah, to no, it's uh, in the process. Yeah, right now we just recorded it, right. and the goal is to actually yeah get it out uh, get it out, get out there. there. So here you are. Um, you're, you're getting it out there now. Yeah. Uh, what other songs are you going to sing for us today? Uh, we're going to do another song called Faith, which is, what we're doing is we're starting out The World Cries, right? Okay. And that's going to be the single, the release single. Okay. Then we're going to merge into an album called Dedications, and this, this specific mm -hmm. uh, album uh, is going to be basically a variation of dedications to personal friends, to people in general, uh, songs like Lady Blue, uh, the next song called Faith. Uh, it's going to be an dedication. awesome album. So it's a song, it's, a, it's, a, it's an album that everybody can relate to. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely something that can connect. I mean, we're doing this independently, and uh, I mean, part of this great opportunity to be here with yourself, Chris, and Alicia, you. this magnificent show, and also the honor to be what? with Evan Ginsburg here, is the goal is to actually also, you know, try to get some kind of uh, representation, get people to come out and either invest or or try to help out with this project, and we thank you guys, of course, well, for yeah, being Alicia, a part of this. Yeah, Alicia yeah. and I have been tr have been promoting your music on our websites. Yeah. Uh, actually, your your video ballerina is uh, yeah. is on our uh, radio show at what's, uh, website. Oh, right. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's it's right on the bottom. Oh the yes, video. I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. The whole video. Oliver Harbo, I want to thank him for that. Our, our, <laughs> Oliver Harbo is the the director, our German director that I worked with for that video. Great video, yeah. great video, and uh, I told Alicia, I go, that's got to go on our front page. Uh, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> video, you know? Well, so we're, you know, the thing is to, to try to, you know, just grab everyone's attention, and, and it, there's a lot to say. I mean, uh, Alpha knows it's like over yeah. 200 songs. We have albums just waiting to be put together. Mm -hmm. You know, God did this for a reason. I have songs in me, James, yeah. all of us. This is what we're called for. And I like that. You, you know? keep plugging away, you know. Yeah, you know, no, yeah. That's what it's about. This is the best way I know how to love right. music. It's what yeah. God gave me. And my father was a musician. My mother's a composer. We we're are blessed. passionate we're about blessed. this, you know. And you're a fellow Puerto Rican like myself. That's right. a, lot of people, a lot of people don't <laughs> think I'm Puerto Rican, but I am. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't but, uh, actually yeah. know that. But people think I'm, a, I mean, I pass for Jewish, Brazilian, right. Italiano. Right, yeah. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, believe it or not. Okay, so, right. <laughs> well, Alicia and I, Alicia, Alicia and I are excited to uh, go see your Broadway show. Uh, oh, cool. You want to plug it again, real oh, quick? Oh yeah, yeah. At Tres Voces, uh, February thirteenth, begins is the gala night, and uh, it's Manuel Morang is the director, uh, the the music director, um, Alex. Um, 
And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to having you guys. It's based on Musica de Bolero, Musica, de, and it's, it's crazy if you don't mind me throwing this in there. My father was a Bolero artist. My parents love that type of music. Check this out, though. This is the amazing thing about this. I went to audition for the play. The play, my father had a group called Las Tres Voces. Las Tres Voces. I go to the play, you know, just randomly because I wanted to just break into the scene, do some auditions. My first audition, I got, thank you, God, you know. But the serendipitous thing about it is that my father's group was called Atres Voces. The play is called Atres Voces. Beautiful. So I felt that was just something, to me, it's miraculous. I believe in miracles, guys, yeah. you know. I believe great things can happen, you know. All we have to do is believe. Believe. Exactly. That's partly what gotta, the music gotta, is about. You gotta keep your faith in that. Apparently, Absolutely. that's what your album's about. That's right, yeah. It's about faith, so. That's right. Are we gonna go to the next uh, song? Cool. All right, let's, let's roll. Let's hear it. Yeah. Matter of fact, appropriately, uh, I think we'll do, that's the song we'll do, Faith. Do Faith, baby. All right. All right.
What song do you want to do now? We'll do your song dedicated to uh, Madhouse TV. Alicia and Chris. Thank you. Bailarina. Okay, enjoy. It's either that or I'm going to break down over here crying. <laughs> I'm already ahead of you. So. <laughs> I'm chaotic. The sound man here is, is wonderful. Thank you for being patient with us. All right. That was for the heart, this is for the feet.
Thank now, you where can, before we cut to a commercial, I'd like to say to everybody, where can we find you? Tell us all your sites, your, you know, your Facebook, your MySpace, your Reverb Nation, everything that you got. Just tell the camera. Today. Okay, okay. Well, um, definitely go to Facebook. Uh, you can find me anywhere, actually, under Edwin Vasquez Musica. If you go on the internet, you will find me. That's the name to use. But out of honor and respect, because this is not done alone, as far as me being here, I want to also introduce these amazing musicians that I have. Uh, James Grover on the guitar, composer, musician. Thank you so much, James. You know, this is all about us. This is a conjoined unit. Uh, yeah. Thank you. This is Peter Dunphy on the percussion. Thank you. Thank you so much. And this is here, Alpha Harvison on the guitar, the man who makes the guitar sing. Oh, cool. no. <laughs> speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's too hot, man. He's too hot. And, uh, yeah, well, you can find, yeah, reach out to us. Um, we're also doing this thing uh, called, uh, I have it written down here, dancica.com, www.dancica.com. And the reason I'm mentioning that is also because we're going to be there Thursday at an event uh, at Mesa Clave. Um, but if you go to Facebook, you'll find it. And then Friday, love letters. Mm -hmm. Cynthia Sepulveda, Flaco Coquito, hello. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for everything. You're a doll. God bless you. Uh, and then Saturday, uh, we're actually so much events. We're going to do something PBS with uh, with uh, David uh, Coble, Joey Cologne, um, uh, again using the world cries as a way to reach out to people and other songs. And uh, so much going on at Tres Voces, you know, February thirteenth. Um, gosh, the new album. Please just stay in touch and, and put your commentary on the videos and share. It's all about. It's about your support. And Evan, by the way, Evan Ginsberg, I am truly honored to Woo! have you. Thanks so much for coming out today. It really means the world to, to all of us. Uh, the associate producer of The Wrestler. Um, um, so yeah, a lot of great things happening. And faith always, people, believe. There's a lot of power in belief. There's a lot of strength in it. Any, you know, it's all about us coming together. There is strength. You have to believe. We believe in negativity. We believe in all this other stuff, that terrible stuff that happens. But you know what? There is love in the world. There is possibility. There is unity. We can use all these incredible forces. And people like this, like Alicia and Chris, make this also possible by reaching out to, to people like us who want to be a part of this. So we want to thank you guys. You guys are totally awesome. We are completely honored. Hit the show, people. This is a kick butt show I'm okay, yes, I'm okay to thank be you. Those ponies, so it's okay <laughs> kick ass <laughs> show in, in. thank so people you hit it. yeah yeah here we go thank you we want to say i want to say thank you guys for coming on the show as you know last night chris and i launched i'm trying not to step on the wires everyone sorry chris and i launched our new radio show called the rendezvous show with chris and alicia and we're going to have you guys on yeah. and evan we, we, we'll we love awesome. to have you guys on in the in the next like week or two yeah, come on we, very excited. This is so. incredible. This is beautiful. This yeah, is I love it. Really yeah, so thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming. And I know you came all the way from Jersey. Yeah. So, I mean, right. we're very we're very blessed. Thank yeah, you so yeah. much. Well, thank you. And the thank people you. behind the scenes here. The, uh, Tom and Vicky Mealy. Tom and Vicky, great job with these. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. you. Yeah, you. Sure. Thank Let's you. Let's call it truth. Let's do it. Right. Yeah. All right. We're doing another song. Can, he's going to close oh, with a song? Yeah. Oh, slow piece. A slow piece. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go stand down. over there. So okay. You can gotta... join us if you like. Play maracas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, I'll play maracas. <laughs> I'll get the beat and I'll play the maracas. Everyone else is welcome to join us. All right. It's true, actually. I'm going to stand over this. Okay. It's a good fit of maracas. Here's my stand up. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. This is called the truth to be on the next album as well. Together we break the 
chains Walking around with so much bottled up inside You know what I'm talking about Passing each other in a daily disguise We can run, we can hide Behind the wall of lies But you will find us We can hide in the night Here in the morning light You will find us Good night. Thank Good you so much. Thank you. Thanks so much for having us. Thanks. Truth will find us. Not too far.